G'day mate, Forty here. So the HBO TV show White Lotus has finished up its second season and it's funny how critics are just universally condemning it for not sufficiently punishing those male characters displaying toxic masculinity. And uh, Michelle Goldberg, New York Times columnist who profiled me twice, once for Salon Magazine back in 1998 and then for Talk Magazine in 1999. Uh, she, she writes a column this week decrying that uh, maybe one day we'll get TV shows that deal with politics instead of transcending politics. Like, God forbid that uh, TV show doesn't make some sort of a didactic left-wing thought that God forbid <laughs> that we get to transcend politics so on a similar kind of silly plane got New York Times here when freedom meant the freedom to oppress others so I don't really think you can have freedom without the freedom to oppress others because oppression just means you know so many different things that, that uh, kind of lacks objective meaning so certainly you should you know have laws of the land like they do in Australia I mean such a such a well-run city I'm just kind of amazed how well run Sydney is like there's no trash around no graffiti virtually no homeless Almost no begging on the streets. Uh, almost no crime. So you can have a, a rule of law that uh, perhaps limits people's ability to oppress others, but uh, oppression contains such huge subjective elements that, uh, yeah, freedom, freedom for one party is going to mean some negative results for another team so like who, whose side whose side do you ultimately want to be on i want to make my way here to the sydney harbour bridge here we go mate so there's a big new york times book review article When freedom meant the freedom to oppress others, Jefferson Cowie's powerful and sobering history of freedom's dominion traces the close association between the rhetoric of liberty in Alabama County and the politics of white supremacy. I don't think liberty was just rhetoric here. All right. So freedom of association is going to mean oppression for some other people. All right. You get to be free to rent to whom you want and sell to whom you want and hire who you want right that's going to feel oppressive to the people you don't want to bring into your circle so freedom is a very big american value we've got uh, ralph waldo emerson the civil war says americans are fanatics in freedom they hate tolls taxes turnpikes banks hierarchies governors and laws <laughs> So, of course, different people interpret freedom differently. You know, the Pilgrims, the Puritans, the Quakers, the Scots-Irish, the Cavaliers, like all had different understandings of freedom, but freedom still remains you know, the dominant American value. But yeah, it comes at a price to others. And you see it in Australia. This is a society dedicated to fairness which is uh, very different from a society dedicated to freedom. So you have more restrictions on your freedom in Australia, but that comes with a greater fairness. So what's more important to you, fairness or freedom? I like community, but community comes at a, a price. Like it's a restriction in freedom. 
I like my freedom, but I'm willing to give up some freedom to have the, the joy of the joy of community. Okay, where am I here? Nope, not going there. <laughs> 